Hello YouTubers, this is Anubafar. As I test out more ways to make content, I'm exposed to new ideas, software, tech, and gear. This series called Gear Shorts will showcase a need or deficiency in my workflow, and then the way I overcame it, either by changing how I do things, or what I bought to achieve success. Let's begin. Most streamers, artists, and YouTubers already understand the benefits of clean audio. It's more professional sounding as you're able to achieve better quality. A month ago, AeroZoom, who make the sound control that I use in my studio, contacted me and asked me if they could sponsor this video. You'll always see foam used sparingly or completely covering wall surfaces anytime you see a content creator's workspace. It's simply the most effective, non-permanent way to reduce unwanted echo and ambient noise pollution. When I expanded my studio beyond just what the booth is, I knew that I wanted to use the new larger space for interviews and other types of content such as unboxings. If the room was only ever going to be used for audio, I would have likely lined the entire walls with foam. If done right, it can be both aesthetic and functional. That wasn't the look that I was going for, so I came up with a fun idea. For streaming, you require good lighting and minimal echo. Normally, small rooms perform better than large ones. So my idea was to make a movable wall to reduce the size of the room, kill the audio, and then add light all at once. I began by building a basic frame, which was set on casters, ensuring it would fit through all the doors in the basement. I wanted to easily store them when not needed, and if we moved, I also wanted to be able to take them with us. The simple frames were inexpensive to make, even with the casters and the light panel. The lights are LED panels that I picked up from Home Depot. They're mounted on a pegboard, which is on both sides of the frame. Naturally, I wanted to use a white surface facing the action, so I ordered white pyramid foam and black pyramid foam for the back. An order arrives in small bundles with all the air removed to reduce its size. It's critical that you allow at least 24 hours for the panels to fully regain their shape. Installing them too soon is a mistake. I tested two mounting options. The AeroZoom sticky tabs are great because they won't damage the wall. You should use four per panel, so the only negative there might be the cost. The other method is spray adhesive, but that's permanent. Don't be stingy when you spray, let the glue become tacky and then hold them in place. The foam panels are thick and durable, plus they're treated with a flame retardant, giving you some peace of mind. It's impractical for me to demonstrate the before and after, so instead I'm simply going to describe the results. Without the panels in place, the space sounds hollow and you can hear an echo in the recording. With the panels in place, the space sounds tighter and is less prone to ambient noise pollution. The resulting audio is of higher quality. The foam has some great applications outside of a studio as well. I've seen some people use them in nurseries, a study, a garage, or even a bedroom. They're available in different types, colors, and sizes, so you can be creative. I got creative with how I deployed mine, so if you come up with another new way of using them, I'd love to hear about it. I can recommend using foam wherever you game to cut down on the system noise or to reduce the impact on the rest of the house. And that's it. Foam is the most effective way to reduce unwanted noise, and to help, AeroZoom is offering this community a discount code to be used at checkout, which will take 10% off of everything, plus they also offer free shipping as a bonus for Black Friday. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Ask me any questions you may have, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.